Hi friends, what's this Kinter window? This window has two components, one progress bar and one scale or a slider. I can increase or decrease this slider to manage the status of the progress bar. These two are interlocked. So we'll see how to do this. This is our blank window or template. We can just run this and see the outputs. So to this, we'll add our components. You can see here at line number four, we have declared at our parent window and the height and width next line, we have declared 400 by 200. You can keep your own size. Now let's just add our components. So P R G one, this is the progress bar one or first one we are using. We are using TTK because it's a part of that. And at line number three, we have imported it. So that we are going to use. So we'll say progress bar. Now where it will be placed, it will be on my uh, window. This is uh, at line number four. You can see it, I declared it. This is our parent window. Now what orientation will we use? We'll use horizontal. So horizontal orientation. I'll just come to the next line here slightly. I'll give the length equal to this will be 320. So and mode. Mode is determinant. You can read all our uh, tutorial on this, what's the different type modes are available. So determinant and okay, then what one other thing is maximum, what should be the maximum value for this maximum value is let's put it as 100. Now, okay, next is we'll place it on our grid. So we'll say PRG one dot grid. Now we'll where it is because this is the first sorry, not PR g1 dot get this is our first component so row equal to 0 column equal to 0 now pad x equal to 20 pad y equal to 45 i'm just given some val values pad x pad y means it takes the from the left edge 20 and pad y means from the top edge so this rows and columns are i placed it in the first row so we are not flushed with the left edge. So we are given the pad X. Now let's just add our scale. So I am giving a name my scale. One, this is TK dot scale. So this is part of the TK. So my underscore W it's my parent window where I am going to placing where from it will start. It will start from from underscore equal to zero and this is the scale range actually I am saying it is 100 now orient orient equal to again horizontal and I will just now the most important part is what it should happen the command next line I am just coming here so I will say command command equal to my update my update is a function which I have not yet written I have to write it and let me just give little length to this so length is 200 now what I will do I will just come here above the progress bar I will write the function my update define the function my update I am I will put pass now our layout is over let's just see once whether it is okay or not any error is there so we should see Okay, my previous window is not open. Okay, my UP. Okay, here I have I, UPD. Sorry, here I have to make it UPD. Okay, now let's run this and see how what's the output. Here it is. What about? Okay, scale. I have not placed it on the grid, so it's not visible. I have to do that now. So my scale dot sorry scale one dot grid now i am just neck below that one so below the top progress bar so i am saying row equal to one and column equal to zero so i am saving this running now they are not interlinked but okay these two are visible but there is no connection between these two we'll see that here inside the function we'll change our uh, code one line code only we have to route before that let's just receive the value now once you can see when the scale is changed here it is the scale is changed this function is triggered so it receives the value of uh, the scale value and i will now i will assign it this value to our progress bar so this is the progress prg1 is our progress value its value is equal to my scale one 
myscale1.get. Now, this what will happen it all the moment I change the value of the scale that will trigger because here you can see the command is there I have written it. So, it will trigger the value of my update. Now, this function will trigger and it receives the value and accordingly inside that it sets the value to progress bar 1. So, that let us save this and run once here it is. Now, let us see I am increasing the value because moment I am changing it that is uh, that function my um, update is getting triggered and the same thing it is assigning the value to the progress bar. So, it is just whatever I am changing the slider value the same value is getting reflected. That is all friend this was a question asked. So, better to give a demo so it will helpful to others also and if you have any doubt suggestion question then you put it in the comment section and i request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorial and we frequently do that also please share this video with your friends and thank you for watching